Hi, my name is Tom Burke. I'm with IOLINE Corporation, and this is one in a series of videos about the IOLINE Design 2 design software for use with the Crystal Press rhinestone setting system. In this video, we're going to talk about using centerline tracing to create designs for rhinestones. We'll begin by typing in some letters. And we're going to use a script font. And the script font is, particular, is useful for a lot of different kinds of applications, but particularly in bridal designs. So we'll type in the word bride. And we'll select that. And we're going to enlarge it a little bit so we can see it a bit better. And let's zoom into that. Now notice something about what happens when you type in text. In particular spots where the script text overlaps or is supposed to connect, it's not really connected. Uh, the letters are overlapping, but they are not connected. So the first thing you have to do to create a continuous shape here is go to your welding tool and simply weld the letters together. And notice that gets rid of your your joints between the letters. Now actually we're ready to do a centerline trace. And centerline tracing is the last icon on the scan tools. We'll go over here to the scan tools and we'll select centerline. And just that quickly, you'll see that uh, we've got a trace that runs through the center of each one of these shapes. Now, one thing you have to understand about center line tracing is that while it is a good way to create a single line font from something that isn't a single line font, it will work more or less depending on the letters you're working with and the results you're trying to achieve. Uh, what I mean, I'll show you by First of all, we'll delete the previous letter shape here by hitting the delete key, and by selecting it and hitting the delete key. And then we'll delete the shapes around the remaining letters. The same process, we'll select them, and then we'll delete them. And notice over here, you've got a really a beautiful shape on the B, but the R, the I, some of the other letters, um, they're a little rough. They don't quite resemble what they originally were. So, whereas here you could take a shape like that and immediately take it into Crystal Studio, these you might want to fix. And I'll show you how to fix them. They're pretty easy to fix. First of all, we'll just double click on them to select them, and that will show us the nodes. And you may remember that there was a, a loop here that went away when we did the center line trace. So what we're going to do is recreate that loop. We'll select this particular node here, bring it over. We'll add another node here. And we'll take this node around, add another node here, bring it out. And generally, make the shape of that original loop. Now over here where this eye is formed, it probably wouldn't hurt to move these lines around a bit as well. We'll bring this node down here and we'll bring that node next to the line there. These shapes you see here, these little notches I call them, really don't create quite as much of a problem in Crystal Studio studio as you might think. Uh, I'll show you what I mean by going into Crystal Studio. And to do that, first of all, of course, we'll save this design or export it to the Crystal Studio software. We'll go export to iLine, tell it OK. Now we'll 
open up Crystal Studio and we'll go to that file. Now where we see our notches here, here, and here, when we place our stones, see those notches are pretty much concealed. We'll zoom in so you can see them a bit better. And even if you were unhappy with them, say like we wanted to change this one here, all we'd have to do is use our editing tools in Crystal Studio to select that stone and move it a little. Maybe move the one next to it and make other changes of that nature as necessary. And there's your finished result.